Hello again everybody, this is Dr. Steve again with the NCV Music and Arts Department and uh, this is the fourth and a little introductory series on how to practice and this one is uh, entitled What's in a Practice Routine? So if you got questions about what you should be practicing, we covered a little bit of this in the third video, the, the previous one to this. But here's my top ten list of things that should be in a practice routine. Number one, breathing exercises. Uh, air is what makes brass instruments work. So if you're not breathing properly, uh, then you're going to have a tough time making a nice sound and playing well. So it's a good thing to start off your practice routine with breathing exercises. Number two, buzzing tunes and drills. Uh, you can do either one. If you like to buzz drills or exercises, that's fine. If you don't like doing that and you'd rather buzz a tune, that's great. But just spend some time buzzing at the beginning. Basically, you can be pretty well warmed up before you even uh, put the mouthpiece in the horn. Number three, long tone exercises. The most important thing in playing a brass instrument is the sound, what you sound like. There's no point in developing everything else that you need, technique and range and all that, if you don't have a good sound. So you got to spend a little time every day at the beginning of your routine doing some long tone playing. Number four, scales, and that would include chromatic scales and major scales and minor scales. These are some of the basic building blocks of music, so if you know these and you should have them memorized eventually, uh, then you're going to be way ahead when you uh, face really any kind of music, whether it's ensembles or solos. Number five, arpeggios. This is the other half that goes with scales. These are major and minor as well. You need to know all these and you need to have these all memorized too. So a, daily, a part of your daily practice will be scales and arpeggios. That's going to cover about 95% of what you play in any kind of ensemble you play in. Number six, flexibility exercises. These are exercises, some of them slow and some of them fast, that help you get around the horn and increase your range. They're usually slurred exercises, a very important part of controlling a brass instrument and making music. Number seven, technical exercises. So we all know, especially Salvation Army music, there's a lot of technique involved. Some of the music's very fast and you have to develop your technique to be able to keep up with it. So you're going to do a little bit of technical work every day. Number six, lyrical and technical etudes. I talked about these in the last video. Uh, sometimes you don't want to play drills. You want to play something that's more musical but still has skills developed in it. That's what etudes are for. Number nine, your ensemble music. We covered this last time as well. It's very important that you get the mindset that you don't show up at rehearsal and learn the music at rehearsal. This is true in your core band too, but you already know your music. And then the rehearsal just becomes coordinating everybody together, uh, whatever size band you've got. Number 10, solos. Just like we talked about last time, you can put a little work. Most people don't have to be encouraged to play solos because they're a lot more fun. They're really good at stretching your boundaries. So you should be working on a solo all the time. That's it for the top 10 list. Now I know that list sounds like a lot to practice, but not to worry, we'll get into that in the future about how to get it all in or do two or three things at once or stretch it out over multiple routines. Don't worry about that, we'll cover that in future videos. And speaking of which, if you look below, uh, you can, you'll see a link that'll take you to some folders that we'll have available that'll have all this stuff written down. So if you, I'm going pretty fast here, if you want to look at it yourself, written, if you're one of those kind of learners, it'll all be in there. And be on the lookout, These, this is just the first four introductory videos. We'll be kind of breaking all these things that I've talked about down into smaller bite-sized chunks in the future. See you next time. <laughs>